What's up guys, Enzo here. Wanted to give you guys a little update on the cars. It's been a little bit since I made a video. I hadn't done a video since um, I had built, I mean, uh, unboxed both the two-wheel and the new four-wheel drive car, so I figured I'd make a video and share some good news. First off, you know, I got both cars built, put a new paint scheme on for the year to change it up for the cars since we're coming back to the brand. And uh, the good news is that I was very fortunate enough to um, make some good, you know, friends in the past. And, um, you know, new manager of Kyosho America being Zach Rogers. Um, I was able to join Team Kyosho for 2018, so I'm happy about that. I'm happy to come back to the team that I've always liked. I've always liked Kyosho cars, so I'm back with them. Um, and I'm really, really digging it. Um... So yeah, that's one of them. And then two, um, yeah, you know, everything's been good with the cars. I'm very happy with them. Um, I've been able to really get them very competitive and very fast. Um, been able to get them, you know, very dialed in for my local track. And, you know, we're going to be going places and, you know, traveling for more big races. Hopefully we can get some big races in, in the winter and go to more events. Um, I also have the... JTP carbon fiber towers for both cars coming and then for the four wheel I have the JTP carbon fiber battery strap and for those of you that own the lasers um, it has a plastic battery I mean a plastic chassis stiffener that comes stock I went ahead and I got the JTP chassis stiffener that's carbon fiber so I got a bunch of goodies coming for this car that'll be here soon um, yeah, yeah I mean I've been testing a lot of things for the two wheel setup been changing the setup around suspension packages and stuff um, but no, the cars have been good, you know, they've been really good. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take the body off of the two-wheel drive car and then the four-wheel drive and show you guys what I have both my cars equipped with. Um, so yeah, here we go. All right, so the two-wheel drive, I have the, starting all the way from the front, I have the Protec 160T. You guys, for those of you that have been following me for a while, you guys know that I've always ran ProTech servos in the past, so it only made sense to come back to them. Um, so yeah, I'm really liking the 160T, really nice for the money. I don't run for ProTech or anything, so that is my honest opinion. Not saying that if I did run for them, they'd be swayed, but um, for the money, I think the ProTech servos are really cool, and they're really nice. Um, then I have the Reds TX120 Speed Control, which is a 120 amps uh, Speedo took the fan off because I don't really need it for a two-wheel. Um, for motor department, I'm running the Trinity Monster Max 7.5 turn. And then, of course, not pictured here is the Lipo Factory Shorty Pack. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much what I got. And as for upgrades, I have the brass piece. I got the steering system parts. And I have the aluminum rear suspension holder. And then this little brass piece back there. That is the Kyosho bolt-on that goes to the rear bulkhead. And then, of course, the aluminum hubs. Um, but, yeah, no, the car's been good, and uh, everything's been swell. So that's about wraps up my two-wheel drive. Um, so let's go ahead and transfer over to the four-wheel. All right, so here's my Laser ZX6. We just finished going over the RB6.6. So here is my Laser ZX6.6. So, yeah. Um, as for hop-ups or anything or additional purchases, I just got the red Kyosho front springs. Um, I got the floating servo mount. Gives a little bit more flex. I don't really think it's noticeable on clay or on medium, medium high-ish grip. I think this uh, servo mount would really be noticeable on a very high bite, maybe sugar track, if not AstroTurf or carpet. It does give the chassis just a little bit more flex up around this area. It gives you a little bit more steering. Um, same servo as the two-wheel, 160T is what I rock right there. Um, same Speedo, Reds 120 amp ESC. Trinity Monster Max 5.5 turn. Um, I got this little Gia or Yeah Racing fan that my buddy gave me. He had a few extra. Use that just to keep the temps moderate. Um, motor doesn't have any issues with heat, though. I just do it just to be safe. Um... Uh, then the aluminum rear hubs, and then it has the gear diffs front and rear, as it does come with a center diff in the center. And so far right now, I am running 7,000 in the front diff, 7,000 in the rear diff, and 500,000 in the center, and the car's been really good. Um, 
so yeah, I've been trying a few extra things, so hopefully we'll see, you know, how much better we can get the car, but overall I'm very happy with the cars, the chassis, um, everything's been working flawless, so there's no complaints. Um, you know, the quality and the build were really good on both, and uh, we've been able to uh, TQ and win the opener at our track. In two-wheel modified, I was able to go up to New Jersey to 46RC, and I was able to take third in both. Um, first time up there was really complicated layout, very tight track, very technical and challenging uh, with a lot of competition, a lot of fast guys, and I was able to podium third. And then this other past weekend, we had our uh, turkey leg race for Thanksgiving, and I was able to TQ and uh, was able to TQ and win both of those in sweep um, in two wheel and in four wheel modified classes. So so far, results have been showing cars are very good. Um, everything's been working great. So right now we're just working to improve um, and make little changes and little tweaks to keep pushing the boundaries on improvement. Um, but the cars have been good. I'm really happy with them. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much wraps up my two cars. And uh, yeah, we'll have more videos soon. Thanks everyone for watching and we will catch you in the next one. See ya.